first things first, straight onto slabs, kind of my favourite angle. Um, in the old Alien Rock 2, um, even though the good slab section, I couldn't really film much just because of the... Basically it was too close to another section and I had to stick my camera in the middle and people could easily follow and uh, maybe hurt themselves so... And the angles were pretty steep, I couldn't get some nice angles. Um, basically it meant I didn't film slabs very often even though I try to climb them often because I do enjoy it the most. Um, it just, you know, slabs are just crazy, scary. Definitely the scariest by far and just the hardest, trickiest. Um, so that really appeals to me, so... Yeah, it's definitely going to be more slabs then given I can get some nice angles here. This is a pretty cool section actually where it goes steep and then onto slab. But it's quite... Um, did a climb at that once before at Ratho and really enjoyed it, so... Um, I think this would be, yeah, I'm going to look forward to. And I think this is, with the new Alien block, it's just so many different types of angles. It's just much more variety than old one, I feel. Um, so yeah, looking forward to it. And these yellow ones, the greys basically range from V1 to V3. And kind of just on the whole circuit thing, just having these quite broad grade ranges. Generally, I've not liked them in the past. I like this specific, but I think here it's not too bad because you do have the moon board, which can give you know an exact number, especially the benchmark ones I've heard, um, which are kind of like verified V5 or whatever. Um, so I think with that combination of having these circuits with the grades range, um, and then the moon board, you can go there and get the exact one. I think that's going to actually complement it quite well. And now onto this mint one. It ranges V2 to V4 on this kind of steep, prowish, kind of probably steep 45 degree at the start, and then maybe backs off to like 25 degrees, but still quite steep. Um, pretty much there. Boom. And then onto the upstairs, the roof section. I'm just going to do the green ones that are like V3 to V5. Awkward start there. Um, push my face right into the wall. And this is vertical here. Um, then that's not really a roof. I guess this part becomes like a roof. Um, but nothing too extreme. And actually, just finishes kind of midway along, which is a bit awkward um, or surprising, really. Just it kind of just stops. <laughs> Alright, perhaps these heel hooks and stuff. This part, this part was a little bit tricky. I tried to bring my toe along to get a crappy toe hook. I mean, somehow it sticks actually. I'm surprised. Then replace with a heel, it feels so much better. And yeah, it just tense up. I think match to finish. And there's other things different, it's basically the last hold is the finish, you don't have to grab the top, which uh, used to happen in Alien Rock 2. Basically, you always finished on the very top. Um, and so here actually, it's, it, I think the whole layout and the design of it is much more sensible, logical, because now they have little bits of tape that tell you where to start, um, like the two starting holds, or two tapes on one hold if you have to match to start. <laughs> it's a cool little section, you have to get in the little scoop. Yeah, so that's quite good. See, with two um, two tape marks to start it, and then it's just the, the highest hold as your finish, which you match on. Um, so it just seems much more uh, well thought out, well planned. Um, just takes the guesswork out of having to stand there and work out where to start. Is it sit start, crouch start, or um, this way? It's just you know, you see it, and you can go from there. And so on the steep fifty degree section, some nice jugs. The other thing is, supposedly it's all a bit soft the grades, um, at least from what I've heard from a few people, it's definitely a little bit softer than it used to be. Um, let's see, onto these pink ones, which are V4 to V6. Um, and yeah, and I guess from my own opinion, I guess from, I think at this point I had been climbing a couple weeks, this was like in mid-July. This is my first time going to Alien Block. Um, yeah, I guess it felt... At least so far, everything has been flashed so far. Um, 
and so this pink one's meant to be a minimum v4 but I don't know this seems yeah fairly straightforward given that I've not climbed in so long and just generally still injured feeling a bit weak definitely out of practice um, you can see me fumbling about <laughs> here I'm just trying to <laughs> heel hook right on top of my hand it's kind of the only spot for the heel hook so I have to wiggle 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 and switch it out um, I should quite like this pink one it's just all these big chunky holds kind of awkward heel hooking um, toes and stuff just not used to those kind of body positions definitely my weakness um, so I like that it was a challenge but again flashed it so it does seem a little bit um, a touch easy maybe and then on to this little awkward number it is a nice awkward start um, and the other thing is which is my downfall here is even though I managed to start that one just kind of like slip off try again the same move basically just your weight gets pushed out to the right and you get pushed off um, what I don't realise is actually everywhere now that rets and corners basically anything you can grab um, it's just like the wall is in so all the volumes are in all the edges are in um, yeah so I didn't realise that which made the start of this one a little bit harder than it needed to be and so it's still a bit of a slabby angle here um, I just need to get my Oh yeah, I think uh, I spend, I'm just going to skip forward here because I spend too long just trying to work out the next move without realising there's a foot kind of just like hiding underneath me to here where I realise, aha, that's the foothold, I'm going to use that, very useful. And from there it's, yeah, pretty straightforward. Um, a couple more moves. Up left. Yeah, I think my right hand is just like a pretty bad hold, so I want to make sure my weight's right on my feet. Slap my way up. And that's the top there. And so then onto these orange ones, which are meant to be V5 to V7. Tough move, first move there, just um, feels quite far, quite strenuous, hard move. And then got this little undercut thing, so get my body up high as possible, as quick as possible. It makes them easier to hold. Um, bump up. And there's about 15 degrees, I think, overhang at this point. And you're kind of forced to be quite straight on. And you see the hold position. I tried to skip a hold there just because the left, basically the lower one, top left now, um, it's just an awkward angle. I try and grab it like that, like a Gaston, but that just doesn't um, work too well. And it's just climbing on now, just trying to work out these moves. I'm not going from the start because that was a hard first move. Just going to try out some kind of variation. This one I grab and kind of awkward, basically set up, it's set like a pinch, but I actually grab it from the top and just use a thumb on one side of the pinch. But it actually feels really good, so like, um, it feels quite solid. Uh, so top right, just I know if I go for it, I'm going to swing. A little bit of swing, control it, um, and then to the top jug. But that wasn't from the start, but um, yeah, but that was me for the session. First time Alien Block, highly recommend it, very nice. Um, yeah, just looking forward to all these different angles and challenge myself on new kind of movements to learn. Um, yeah, it's a really good, great new bouldering spot. Mm -hmm.